Nathan. You remember me. I remember everyone. What are you doing here? I'm here because I may not have been there when you dropped off your resume, but I still run that clinic. I'm here to offer you a job. I don't understand. Hector Suarez. I'm assuming you remember him too, right? What about him? Well, after you left, I picked up your file. Don't tell me. You kept him in the country. No, Mike. You did. I thought maybe this guy will become a lawyer someday. And then I read about you in the paper last year and found out you never did. So you knew that I faked being a lawyer twice and you're still here to offer me a job? I wouldn't be, except for this. You told the truth. As far as I'm concerned, that means you're worth taking a chance on. Wow, you really are a do-gooder. I'm not here to do good for you. I'm here to do good for my clinic. Because I'm hiring a partner-level attorney from one of the top firms in the city for the price of the kid who gets me my coffee. You have a kid who gets you coffee? No, we can't afford that. But if we could, i pay him what I'm gonna pay you. So are you in or not? When do I start? Don't tell me. You took the job. Actually, until this morning, I didn't think there was a chance in hell I was getting this job. Sounds to me like you had a friend at the front desk who put your resume at the top of the pile. It sounds to me like I owe that person a beer. Just so we're clear, I'm that guy. I get the picture. Welcome to the clinic, Mike. Thanks, Oliver. Yeah, I see you met Oliver here? I did. We got along right away. Good, good. Oh, you're off to a good start. I guess the only thing left is for you to show me where my desk is. Right. It's uh, right inside that office right there. I didn't think I was getting an office. Look, just because I'm paying you dick doesn't mean I'm not gonna give you the tools for the job. What exactly is my job? Because as far as I can tell, I'm the only one here with an office. Everybody listen up. You have a new supervisor starting today. His name is Mike Ross. Mike is from Pearson Spectre Lit, and he knows more about law than all of you combined. So if Mike tells you to do something, you do it. I don't mean to question the new world order, but what is his title? Great question, Marissa. Um, senior individual in charge of you? Any more queries? I didn't think so. All right, back to work, let's go. You weren't kidding when you said you were doing this for you. No, I wasn't. I've been trying to get somebody in this position for this money for the last 10 years, and now that I have, I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Why don't you go back to wherever your office is and stay there for the rest of the year? So I'll be busy kicking ass out here. That's what I like to hear.